about a year and a half ago during a routine annual physical. Her uh, doctor told us that Sophia has scoliosis and for us to get it checked out. So we went to a um, specialist, had her checked out, and yes, uh, the doctor told us that she has scoliosis. It affected my body in ways that I can like see, like looking at the mirror and walking. So it affected things like that, like things that people will actually notice. I had hip and shoulder pain and that hurt walking around especially carrying things from the moment I got up to the moment I went back to bed. The or original doctor did x-rays and we found out that her severity was mild uh, and that the angle was about 18 degrees and uh, so we started treating her with a chiropractor and we couldn't do much because right after she was diagnosed with it is when COVID first happened. So unfortunately, we were kind of kept on the back burner for a while and uh, we had to move cross country. So when we finally came out here to Florida, we started going uh, to a chiropractor like we did before. After a few months of going to our chiropractor, they do a x-ray as part of the program and then that's when we found out the curve actually doubled in size. The chiropractor that we were going to referred us to here and uh, she told us all about Dr. Tony and how good he is and how the treatments are very aggressive and uh, you know can help especially during this important time when she's growing. The worst recommendation that you're given is to say hey you know just come back in six months or come back in a year because you could walk out of that office today and you or your child can go through a growth spurt at that moment, right? And then as you're growing, the curve is progressing. You're not gonna know for six months from now or a year from now. Um, so therefore, what you knew should be checking your, your curve or checking to see if your curve is progressing, it should be based upon height, not time, or not just time. Like you say, okay, six months or growth, like an inch of growth, whatever happens first, come back, we'll do an evaluation and see what's going on. So that's the way I like to manage my patients, so that we're not actively reducing. I was like mad and sad because I didn't know why I had it, so I was mad at myself. But then Dr. Tony told me that you don't know why you have it most of the time. So that kind of made me feel better about it, like not blaming myself for it. When we first came here and we saw uh, not only the facility, but we saw all of the exercise equipment, we saw the staff, um, we got educated so we knew that this was you know a specialist among specialists and this uh, is world renowned there's people coming from all over the world to see Dr. Tony there's got to be a reason for that um, we're fortunate to have it in our own backyard so it was a no-brainer for us it was good it was a little scary walking in with all the machines because I it looked like a torture room it was scary but it turned out good because Everyone was really nice and helpful. Dr. Tony is a specialist uh, with scoliosis and he just has a different approach. Her uh, degree of curvature was 30 degrees and uh, after one week she was down to about 22 and now she's down to about 18. So she's back to where she was originally and again that, that's in two short weeks. The pain in my hip is completely gone. My shoulder is very little, but that's probably because of the brace, because that's where it's attacking. She's gotten good results because Dr. Tony knows what he's doing. He has, you know, not only the knowledge, but he has the equipment to be able to do this. Once it's over, I can live without the pain, kind of, and I know I won't know that it's there. I thought it was gonna like take me out of sports and doing things I want to do, but it didn't. It feels better.